Since its introduction in 2002, the Striker project has continuously evolved, responding to the need for a powerful and easy-to-deploy war machine. Project Striker will ammo vehicle deployed in the U.S. Army as a solution is supposed to fill the technical gap between heavy armor brigades with tanks M1A Prams and BMP M2 Bradley and light infantry units. The former was difficult to deploy due to limited air transport, while the latter could deploy quickly but did not have mobile secure means upon arrival. M1126 Striker is part of the Striker series. It serves as an armed armor personnel carrier that can transport infantry and supplies to the front, while providing a respectable level of firepower during sortie. The M1126 weapon taps can be specifically added to suit the operator's role and specific mission. The vehicle was manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems Canada and has been in service since October 2003. An estimated 4,900 strikers were produced. The striker is a modular multipurpose platform that can be modified to be used for missions ranging from reconnaissance to troop transport. M1126 Striker has a length of 6.95 meters, a width of 2.72 meters, and a height of 2.64 meters. It weighs about 16.47 tons. It's operated by a crew of two, driver and gunner along with a passenger compartment enough for nine soldiers with full equipment. The infantry entered and exited the vehicle through a large ram at the rear of the hull. The striker is built on an 8 by 8 wheel platform with a suspension that can be adjusted during travel allowing the vehicle to operate efficiently on either flat or off-road terrain. Armored surfaces are angled at the front to increase protection for the crew and critical systems inside. The striker is better protected than many other armored personnel carriers, including Russian and Chinese designs. Front arc withstands his from 14.5 mm heavy machine gun rounds. Burn wrap protection is against 7.62 mm NATO burn rounds. A ceramic add-on armor can be fitted to give burn wrap protection against 14.5 mm armor piercing rounds. Interior of the vehicle is light width to protect the crew and passengers from spoiling. An undercarriage was strengthened to survive my blasts. This armor personnel carrier has an automatic fire suspension and MBC protection systems. Strikers employed in combat zones are fitted with their cages, current slat armor, providing protection against anti tank rockets and missiles. Recently, an explosive reactive armor kit was designed for this vehicle. It is intended to replace the slab armor in combat areas. Multiple hatches atop the hull allow for crew members to achieve a stance position from within the striker body though at the risk of exposing themselves to enemy fire. The driver is afforded a dedicated hatch, 
compete with vision blocks at the front left of the vehicle. This vehicle is equipped with fire control equipment, anti-interference, air purification, NBC protection, and infrared observation devices, night vision, and automatic cameras, etc. The Striker is armed with an M2 12.7mm heavy machine gun or Mark 19 40mm automatic grenade launcher mounted in remotely controlled weapon station. This armor personnel carrier takes advantage of high-tech information technologies. It is fitted with battlefield information management system. It links up with other similarly equipped vehicles and command posts. Position information is available through GPS receiver. Mobility is key to Striker's success. It is powered by a 350 horsepower Caterpillar 3126 diesel engine. The vehicle can reach a maximum speed of 100 km per hour, a maximum range of 530 km. Engine and transmission can be removed and reinstalled in less than an hour. Driving wheels can switch between 8x4 configuration on roads and 8x8 configuration on rough terrain. Striker is transportable by the C-130, C-141, C-5, C-17 military transport aircraft. During the 2003 Iraq War, Strikers were the frontline American combat force in both desert and urban combat. The M1126 Striker 8 wheel armor vehicle is considered a world-class weapon, has participated in many battlefields, and will remain in service with the U.S. military until 2030. In May 2019, the Royal Thai Army reached an agreement to purchase 37 refurbished Striker armor vehicles valued at $80 million from the United States. Under the contract, the U.S. Army will give 23 more strikers to the Thai Army for free, bringing the number to 60 in total. My video about M1126 Striker answer Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.